This video was brought to you by stntrading.eu. They enhance your trading experience by offering extremely fast automated trading services for both TF2 and CSGO. Check them out in the description below. Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. So today I'm gonna to be answering a question that I get a lot from you guys, especially since I've started streaming so much and I've been doing streams and showing my Steam overlay and stuff like that a lot. And this question is basically, how do you change your Steam skin? How do you make your Steam look so good? And how do you basically change the look of it? All of those different ways I've been asked it. And there's been even more ways to ask it. So I mean, it's basically called a steam skin. There's a, a bunch of them you can get. You can get so many like different styles. So you can get say this green one. You can get this one, which I'll be showing you how to download today. And there's just basically a bunch of them. And it's, I don't really know how to make your own, but I know a lot of people do, obviously, else nobody would actually have any. But there's loads of websites you can get them from. The website I'm using today is steamskins.org. So, you know, very simple. Uh, it's not a sponsored, thing at all this isn't a sponsored video by them but this is just the website i'm using i'm guessing game banana has some on there as well i'm pretty sure and if you just google them i'm sure you'll find like a million other websites you can use now you can see here i've already downloaded it because i did have a failed recording of this and we're going to be downloading the air skin basically so you come down here you can see what it looks like in the steam overlay you can see everything else all the screenshots and what things will look like and just stuff like that and honestly it looks really good and this is one of the ones that does look pretty awesome you can see like the view of friends view players stuff like that over tf2 stuff like this and if you just scroll down a little bit more you can see everything going on installation instructions and then the downloads so if you click download here then you should be good to go then you can you know get rid of that site i've already downloaded it and put it on my desktop that's literally all i did i dragged it from the downloads bar onto here extracted it into this folder but you're going to want to open this i don't know if this is the same for all steam skins but for the air that it is basically you drag this one put it into your skins folder which you can easily find if you just go into your if you find your steam folder to start with skins is literally just in here and you just drop the folder in there it's really easy and if we go into change profile name we're not actually changing our profile name we're going into interface um, it, this is going to look different for you guys because I'm using a different Steam skin right now. But the buttons will be the same. It's just the layout of this page might be a little bit different. Then we're going to click F for Steam. Then we're going to click OK. You're going to restart Steam. I'm probably going to have to log in. So yeah, that 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 would be good. So let's see what happens. Is Steam going to load back up? It's updating right now. So we should be all right. I'm probably going to have to log back in using Steam Guard and stuff like that. So if I do, I'll probably skip that. Yeah, we do. So this is this is how you can easily tell that it's already worked. So you can see stuff has changed and that. So let me just log in and I'll be right back. So now we are logging in. We can see that everything's opening up. We've got the regular Steam thing. I've accidentally clicked onto that. We've got everything opening up. And if we click on our library, we can see that it's very white, very 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 bright but everything's changed and everything is working we can click on my profile and it's going to look kind of odd because we've got this at the top of it and honestly this isn't such a bad steam skin after all like i i used to use this one but i don't know i kind of stopped i guessing we have notifications here doesn't say a number kind of kind of unfortunate but we can see comments and stuff like that we can see trade offers if you wanted to ever look at your trade offers you do a lot of trading so i mean i've got quite a lot here and yeah, it's basically just done. Like, once you've got to this point, you're finished, and I don't know, that was really easy. And you could do that for a lot. The Steam skin I regularly use is called Pressure, or I use Metro for Steam, because both of those are like the two best. Air is not bad, I guess, if you don't mind it being very bright, but going from somebody who uses Pressure Dark, which is a very, very dark Steam skin, to using one that's very, very bright, is like it's burning my eyes a little bit but we should be okay i'll survive i'm pretty sure and yeah anyway that's gonna do it for this video guys i hope you did enjoy it this is basically how to download a steam skin stupidly easy and now i hope that you guys are gonna download some skins and make your 
Overlays look really, really awesome. So maybe if you made YouTube videos, people will be asking you. And maybe if you're live streaming, people can be surprised. You're like, oh damn, he's got a cool looking skin. But yeah, either way, thanks for watching the video. Hope you did enjoy it. And I'll see you all tomorrow with another one. Goodbye. I won't quit the